Guys, it is very important to note that weak erection can be caused by various factors, including physical, psychological, and uh, lifestyle related issues. However, it is always best to consult with the healthcare provider for personalized advice, advice and treatment as an option. So guys, today we are going to talk about 10 ways to cure weak erection in men. 10 ways to cure weak erection in men. So guys, welcome to our channel. The channel is Nazbin. And if you have not subscribed, you are late. A lot has been shared in this channel. And if you have not watched our previous videos, kindly go watch them. Because this is where we get to share matters medical in a simple language which you can understand as a common person who, is, who has not even gone to the medical school so that you get help and also get that information because we believe information is power. So it is important to know that weak erection uh, can be caused by various uh, factors and uh, here are some general strategies that may help uh, improve the erectile uh, functions. So then ways in which you can approach the weak erection and also improve the erectile function. Number one is about health uh, lifestyle, where maintaining health diet, exercising regularly, managing stress and getting enough sleep is a, is a very good option, where you can, these uh, lifestyle factors contribute to overall well-being and improve the erectile function. Number two is about quit smoking. Smoking can damage blood vessels and impair blood flow, which can negatively affect the erectile function. So quitting smoking can help improve circulation and overall health uh, being. Number three is about limit alcohol uh, consumption. So excessive alcohol consumption can interfere with the body, ability to achieve and maintain an erection. Limiting the alcohol intake or avoiding it altogether may improve the erectile function. Number four is about managing underlying health conditions. Conditions such as diabetes, uh, high blood pressure, obesity uh, can also contribute to uh, erectile uh, dysfunction. And managing these condi conditions through medication, through lifestyle changes and regular uh, medical care but may help uh, improve the erectile function. Also, medication review, very important. Some medications such as antidepressants, antihistamines, and blood pressure medications can contribute to erectile dysfunction. So consult with the healthcare provider to discuss potential alternatives or adjustments to your medication regimen so that uh, you can improve your erectile function. Number four, six is about uh, addressing psychological uh, factors. Psychological factors such as stress, anxiety, depression, and uh, also relationship problems can contribute to erectile uh, dysfunction Seeking therapy or counseling to address the underlying psychological issues may help improve erectile uh, function. Number seven is about pelvic floor uh, exercises. When we talk about pelvic floor uh, exercises, uh, we are talking about the things like Kegel exercise, which is very important to help strengthen the muscles involved in the erectile function. So regular practices of these exercises may improve erectile function over time. Number eight, uh, we have also other herbal supplements. Some supplements such as the uh, L-Arginine uh, can help uh, improve the, uh, the erectile function. However, it is important to consult with the healthcare professional before taking any supplements as they may interact with the other medication or have side effects which are, can be detrimental to your health. Number nine is about vacuum devices, where vacuum electrical uh, devices, or what you call VEDs, are na which are non-invasive devices that can help achieve and maintain the erection by creating a vacuum around the penis, drawing blood into the area. These devices may be helpful for some men uh, with the erectile function. So also number 10 is about medical treatment. In some cases, medical treatment such as oral medication, like what you call sildenafil or tadafil, uh, or the blue, blue pill can be used. Sometimes injections or surgery may be recommended 
to treat the erectile uh, function. This uh, treatment especially should be prescribed by your healthcare professional and also be monitored appropriately because sometimes they can be very much uh, de de detrimental. Remember that individual experiences and the, resp and the responses to treatment may, va may vary, so it's essential to work with the healthcare professional to for most appropriate uh, to, to offer the most appropriate and effective treatment plan for your specific uh, problem at that particular point. What are the causes of weak erectile function? When we talk about weak erection or ED or erectile dysfunction can be caused by various factors. Number one is about underlying condition. Conditions such as diabetes, hypertension and also obesity can affect the flow and the nerve function uh, contributing to the erectile dysfunction. But this is about neurological disorders. When we talk about neurological disorder, dis disorders, there are those conditions which affect the nervous system, such as multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's disease, or spinal cord injuries can interfere uh, with the signals between the brain and the penis, so leading to erectile dysfunction. Hormonal imbalance is also another problem. Lower levels of testosterone. And guys, if you have not watched our videos on uh, male hormones, especially this testosterone, I, we did a very good video which you can you can watch in this channel on uh, this the function of this testosterone. So when we have low levels of testosterone or imbalance in other hormones, can affect the sexual function and also contribute to erectile dysfunction. Number f and, uh, another 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 aspect of it when we have vascular issues. It can also be the cause for electrical dysfunction. Conditions that affect the blood flow, such as uh, atherosclerosis or hardening of the arteries, peripheral artery disease, uh, or venous leakage can impair the ability to achieve or maintain an erection. Number another another cause can be medications. Well, we've talked about uh, antidepressants, antihistamines, blood pressure medications. Also, in addition, chemotherapy drugs. And also we have, uh, because of their side effects, they affect, the, they, cause, they can cause erectile dysfunction. Lifestyle factors and healthy habits such as smoking, taking excessive alcohol, can also uh, drug abuse, sedentary behavior can also impact the erectile function. On the psychological causes, the ones I've mentioned are the physical causes. On psychological causes, we talk about stress, we are talking about anxiety and depression, relationship issues trauma or of past experience like when we talk of, of stress we mean psychological stress stressors such as work pressure financial worries relationship problems can lead to anxiety and contribute to erectile dysfunction anxiety and depression mental health uh, uh, problems such as anxiety disorders depression or self or low self-esteem can affect the sexual desire and are also leading to uh, erectile dysfunction Relationship uh, issues, conflict, uh, conflict, communication problems, or unsolved issues within a relationship can create tension and contribute to the erectile uh, dysfunction. Trauma or past experience, or past experience, or past experience, traumatic experiences such as sexual abuse or past negative sexual encounters can uh, impact the sexual functioning and contribute to erectile. Uh, dysfunction of an individual. Other causes also, we have things like age. Age can lead to changes in sexual function, including a gradual decline in erectile function due to the hormonal change levels and also blood flow and also the nerve function. Obesity, being an overweight or obese person, uh, can contribute to erectile function by increasing the risk of conditions such as diabetes, high blood pressure, and also atherosclerosis. Smoking, smoking can damage blood vessels and impair blood flow, increasing the risk of erectile dysfunction. Alcohol and drug abuse, excessive alcohol consumption uh, or drug can interfere with the sexual arousal and the performance contributing to the erectile dysfunction. Guys, it is important to consult your healthcare professionals to, under, to determine underlying cause of the erectile dysfunction and also uh, develop appropriate treatment plan tailored to individual needs and also circumstances. What can be the complications of erectile dysfunction? Number one is about what you call erect, uh, relationship strain. Erectile dysfunction can lead to feelings of frustration, inadequacy, 
and also resentment in relationships. It may cause tension, communication problems, and the lack of uh, intimacy between partners, potentially leading to uh, relationship conflicts or even uh, breakdown. Number two is about sexual dissatisfaction, where inability to achieve or maintain an election can result in sexual dissatisfaction for both uh, partners. It may lead to reduced sexual activity, loss of libido, and also decreased sexual pleasure, impacting the relationship uh, satisfaction, guys. Also, number another number four is about depression as a complication of this. Depression and anxiety can, can crop up. Because of chronic erectile dysfunction, this can contribute to develop or exacerbation of mental health conditions such as depression, anxiety, or stress. The psychological impact of erectile dysfunction may further worsen sexual performance and exacerbate feelings of hopelessness and also despair. Also, performance anxiety, failure, fear of failure to achieve the normal maintain an erection is also known as a performance anxiety can be a self-fulfilling prophecy and a perpetuated uh, dysfunction. This cycle of anxiety and stress can further impair the sexual function and also intimacy. Number six is about impact on intimate relationships. Because erectile dysfunction can affect on not only sexual intimacy but also emotional intimacy within the relationship. It may lead to feelings of rejection, frustration and also resentment damaging the overall quality of a relationship. Number seven is about loss of connection, where in several cases erectile dysfunction may, may result in a loss of emotional and physical connection between partners. Uh, this can lead to uh, feelings of loneliness, isolation, and also uh, disconnection within uh, the relationship. Number eight is about medical complications, where now we get to get, uh, a, uh, where now one gets to develop other medical conditions. Uh, where in, in severe cases may result into physical uh, into uh, diabetes, things like that because of the diabetes or mono imbalances and other things when these things are left untreated they can lead to more serious complications including cardiovic cardiovascular events or metabolic uh, disorders another complication is about reduced quality of life the impact of electric dysfunction on relationship self-esteem and also mental health can significantly reduce the overall quality of life for affected individuals and partners. Number 10, least, uh, last but not least, is about avoidance of healthcare as a complication. Some individuals may avoid seeking help of erectile dysfunction due to embarrassment, shame, stigma surrounding the condition, and this can delay the diagnosis and treatment of underlying health issues, potentially leading to worsening complications over time. Guys, it's very essential to address the electric dysfunction proactively by seeking especially the medical uh, advice, exploring the treatment options and addressing any under underlying physical psychological factors contributing to the condition. Guys, open communication, mutual support and also understanding within relationships can also help mitigate the impact of ED or uh, on intimacy and overall well-being. So, and on the prevention, how can we prevent this erectile dysfunction? Healthy diet, exercise is very important. Number one, health lifestyle is one of the approach which can be can be employed by health, uh, 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 by healthy lifestyle. We mean regular exercise, avoiding smoking, and also taking excess alcohol consumption. So, a healthy, a healthy lifestyle supports overall well-being and can help prevent obesity, diabetes, and high blood pressure, which uh, are risks for erectile dysfunction. Number two is about uh, manage underlying uh, conditions. Taking steps of the, chron uh, the chronic, uh, uh, steps on chronic illnesses now in the body, especially the diabetes, the hypertension, uh, and also high blood, the heart disease is very important that if you follow up your plans as recommended by healthcare professionals and checkups to monitor your health. Regular exercise, like taking 30 minutes each day to exercise uh, for moderate intensity exercise most of the days of the week. Uh, so this can also help. Uh, things like brisk walking, jogging, swimming or cycling to improve the cardiovascular health and also blood circulation and overall fitness are very important. 
Number another number four is about maintaining healthy weight. Obesity is a risk for erectile dysfunction. Uh, so so strive to achieve and maintain a healthy weight through combination of diet and also exercise. Number five, limit alcohol and avoid drugs. So excessive alcohol consumption and educational drugs use can contribute to erectile dysfunction. Limit alcohol intake and avoid illegal drugs to reduce the risk of sexual uh, dysfunction. Number six is about manage stress. Find a healthy way to manage stress, such as practicing relaxation techniques, mindfulness, meditation, yoga, or engaging in hobbies or activities that uh, you enjoy most. Chronic stress can contribute to erectile dysfunction, so prioritizing stress management is uh, very important. Number seven is about open communication. Maintain open, open and honest communication with your partner about sexual health, desires, and concerns. Addressing any issues or anxiety together can strengthen your relationship and support over sexual well-being. Number eight, seek medical, seek medical advice. If you experience persistent or recurrent difficulties with direction, consult with your healthcare professional. They can help, help individual with the underlying causes and recommend appropriate treatment options, which may include medication, therapy, or lifestyle changes. Number nine is about regular healthy checkups. Attend uh, your regular checkups with your healthcare provider. Discuss the concerns uh, about your sexual function with the healthcare provider because early detection and also management can prevent complications and improve any outcomes. Number 10 is about educate yourself. Uh, stay informed about factors that contribute to erectile dysfunction and a way to prevent it. Educating yourself empowers you to make informed decisions about your health and also well-being. By incorporating these preventive measures into your lifestyle seeking, support from healthcare professionals needed, you can reduce the risk of uh, erectile dysfunction and also support over uh, sexual health and also uh, well-being. So guys, erectile dysfunction involves both physical and psychological uh, factors that can the condition. So health lifestyle, managing chronic conditions, avoiding smoke and, uh, smoking, uh, smoking and drug use, stress management, open communication, and practice on, so, of safe sex, regular checkups, and education, educating yourself can be very important to help you approach this erectile uh, dysfunction factor in our lives. So guys, by incorporating these preventive measures into your lifestyle and seeking support from your healthcare provider as needed, you can reduce the risk of electrical dysfunction and uh, support overall health and uh, well-being of your body. Guys, welcome. The channel is Nazbin. Can you even more subscribe? I want to encourage you to subscribe, and I want to welcome you to our next video, guys. And uh, if you have not, uh, if you have not liked the video, guys, please like the video because that is how you get as recommended by YouTube to the larger community. Guys, welcome to our next video. We love you very much and peace.